No doubt about it, it's chilly out there, and today we talked with the man who might have the coldest job in West Michigan. <laughs> when the ice thickened, a trapped barge on Spring Lake, and dozens are now watching as the crew slowly breaks the ice to move along. News 8's Joe LaFergie has our story. If you're an old movie buff, you may recognize the name on the side of the barge, Poseidon. Well, for those aboard the barge, it's definitely an adventure. Well, our main goal tonight is to hit 4th Street in Ferrysburg, and we'll stay the night there, and then we'll continue on if the weather's right. That's John Hanks behind the controls of the excavator turned icebreaker. The machine shovel swings right to left, left to right, each time sweeping a little more ice out of the way. We're in about six inches of ice and we're cutting through it. The goal is to get back out on the big lake. This trip that we're making right now would usually take 90 minutes and so far we have roughly uh, 16 hours and we're halfway. Hanks works for Harbor Hawk. The company does seawalls and other water-related projects. Every winter season, when the temperatures plunge, it's a race to beat the ice on the smaller lakes. And this year, the ice won. We try to coordinate the job so that we're not, we don't have a long distance to go. Mm -hmm. um, just so happens we got a bit of a distance to go this time around. It's been cold. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm in the gap. But uh, Mitch, the fellow, that, the captain there, Captain Jack, is he's all dressed up trying to stay warm. We don't have a heater in the, in the tug right now. John and the tug's captain come ashore at night where local residents have been offering up dock space for the barge. But once the sun comes up and the day gets underway, there aren't many breaks in the action. When we're going to take a break, uh, I'll try to get a quick snack. <laughs> just keep rolling, because as long as I'm not breaking the ice, we're not getting very far. Hanks figures they're still about two days out from Grand Haven, but even with a slow trip... Well, thanks, John. It's good talking to you. Good luck. Thank you. Right. Have a great day. Spirits remain high. In Spring Lake, Joe LaFergie, News 8. Oh, he's loving it out there, yeah. right? <laughs> what an adventure. Yeah. Well, the work continues, and once they make Grand Haven, there is another project. They'll hit the open waters of the Big Lake for a project that they'll be working on in White Lake. A lot of work to get there, but they'll do it.